Welcome back to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Today I'm joined here by... Jake! And... Seabass. Also known as Seb. Anytime they want you to use your name, you refuse. <laughs> well, it I'm is C- so annoying. I'm Seabass on YouTube. What's your middle name? Rollo. Oh yeah, that's right. Rollo. <laughs> that's right, because you're Italian. What? Is the Rollo an Italian no, thing? English. Nah. It's like Viking. Uh, nah. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what your lineage <laughs> is. And I'm the host, Lachlan. Definitely the host. I run this shit, bro. I'm all over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, gentlemen, a ban list has dropped. Yes, we're in the new age of... It really hasn't changed that much. <laughs> new, new the new age of, of just no... Infernoble Bard and that's it. <laughs> no Infernoble and a little bit of Dragon Link. It, we're in the new age of Dragon Link ending on their best board because they've been forced to instead of Buster locking and losing to a Cosmic Cyclone <laughs> they now end on Dragoon and Extra Negates instead it's pretty funny when I was versing Lewis last with the previous Dragon Link they actually had to go to the trouble of taking the um, the Buster lock and equipping it to Red MD instead of um, Savage, in case they got Kaiju, Yeah. Because then they lose the negates and the extra <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. Well, what are your thoughts on the ban list, fellas? Oh, so very good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't like Smoke. Like, I know Lachlan loves it, but... It just... I'm fine with Linkross being here, but I don't know. Eventually I have to go. Yeah. I did think it was weird that we didn't get the link tokens first, considering links have been out. Like stuff that summons the tokens this thing of some like summon have been out for yonks. Mm. And we still don't have this token. Maybe we should have taken the fact that we didn't get the tokens as a clue that we weren't gonna see Link Cross much longer. There's still stuff in the Like there's still stuff around that summons link tokens. <laughs> like I don't understand what's Oh, up. is it specifically link tokens it summons? Ugh. Oh. Ah. We've got a special guest. I'm not talking much. Oh. Let's just say the rain has interrupted my Pokemon. <laughs> well, oh, I could have told you that before you left. I, don't, it, I thought you were it just wasn't braving. wasn't when I just looked out the window. I thought you were just braving the weather. I was like, okay. Thank you for joining us, Prag. No worries. What do you think about the burn list? I am completely indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... have no strong thoughts one way or the other. Um, does anything else summon link tokens? Yeah, there's heaps yeah, of stuff that summons um, link tokens. Like the whole Cyber deck. Link oh, devotee, okay. yeah. link disciple. Okay. Um, I th- think the ban list is a... In all honesty, I think the ban list is a bit of a joke. Uh, obviously, I'm biased. I was an Infernoble player. Um, yeah, I understand that the hand rip was bad, but no one played the deck like I did, really. Like, that was not the variant of the deck that ever topped. The t- variants that we're topping were the, like, the two and a half negates and the the VFD version. No one did the hand rip at, at competitive level. So, I, I was a bit confused there, but, like, I thought Linkross had to go, but that would have gotten out three of my hand rips anyway. It would have just been one in the end phase with smoke and then a negate. So, I didn't think they both had to go, but, um... It is weird. I did make a claim, you know, a month ago, I think, or a month and a half, where I said Infernoble is the best deck, and Konami agreed. Right? I was correct. <laughs> That's why they hit it. Because it was the best deck. Mm. Except it wasn't. It, it just wasn't the best deck. There there were many decks above it. Uh, Dinos, for one. Misc, completely unhit. Everything in Dinos at three. Literally everything. Um, the link cross hit hurts dragon link as well so um, look I'm glad that got hit but um so d- I think you know they just end on a better end board um with dragoon instead of the buster lock which is you know far harder to break um virtual worlds um can more consistently rip for four than Infernobles could. So that's also quite interesting. Um, and now we've got Drytrons coming out, which go plus three instead of three negates. 
um, which is also fairly decent. Uh, Zeus is still running rampant as the only thing that makes Zeus relevant. Pretty much. It's that actually deck is really, so bad outside of Zeus. It's very sad how bad it is if they can't get to Zeus. So, Honest to God, I'm starting oh, to think some Cherries is good again. Because you just hit certain things. Like, if you don't need an extra deck spot, just run as uh, a Cherries and just hit, like, you can hit fucking Mechaba, you can hit... How uh, many mirror matches? Like, it's insane. You can hit VFD, matches. you can hit um, Cloud Castle if you wanted to and you didn't want to hit VFD for some reason. Um, you hit Cloud Castle, you could hit a uh, Titan Clad even. Um, you could hit a bunch of stuff that just would really fuck up a lot of plays. Like, um, yeah. I think there's probably too many decks running around for it to be like good at competitive. Though. It depends if you need your extra deck. Because I think if you have if you have 15 spots in your extra deck, or even like 10. And you just don't need to run extra deck cards, pretty much. Like a, like a. Some Eldritch variants don't need Eldritch, the extra deck very much. Um, if you played Monarch without the domain lock, you send you. I don't understand these are lower decks, but like a card like Cherry is hitting the right cards at the right time, could at least even out the playing field a little bit. Even some other decks can afford to take some cards out of the extra deck. Like, some Dogmatica variants can definitely afford to put in cards. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, with Artemis having come into the Invoked build, like, I could definitely afford to cut one of the cards. Like, yeah. what would have been an Almirage could now be a Cherry's target. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think Eldritch could probably run a lot of it. But then they'd be running x instead. So they'd have to run multiples of them. If they're not going into the extra deck, it's fine. Well, if they're going first, you're not going to activate cherries anyway. Yeah. You're just going to back it and then go, I'm going to win. You, you do that siding for second, and then you wouldn't need to run multiples because you just... Because, like, you're not going to summon it anyway. You'd run multiples of whatever you want to yeah, summon, and okay, then just yeah, one yeah, each yeah. of the rest. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think cherries could be pretty legitimate right now. Um, I think it'd be pretty decent. That's my opinion. Um, well, so beyond the band cards, I honestly can't even remember what else changed. Like, I know all the BA stuff and the Frog and the Buster Dragon and whatever came back. Was there limits? Well, no limits. So it was only no the limits. semi-limit of True King's Return? Yeah. Oh, that's another deck, I guess, that could run Cherries, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there's an extra deck variants. Because without Demise, they can run Hand Traps now as well, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's going to be... It's going to be interesting watching people try to figure out the meta. Mm. Isn't this the uh, Virtual Wars versus Eldritch? I think if that, so. If that LCS is anything like, to go by. Eldritch Zoo, maybe, as well. Oh, yeah. Zeus. Just hit Zeus. And you will win against Zoo. 95% yeah, of the time. They can't do shit with that. Yeah. Place. That's what that's what started me on the tangent. I never said the name. <laughs> Zeus. Zoo is absolute dog shit without Zeus. That deck is Doesn't not good. It does not it's its best end board is one negate. No, not even one negate, sorry. Its best end board one. of one searching without Zeus is one pop. <laughs> I guess people were running bunny blast for one neg as well, but yeah. Uh -huh. I mean the isn't the hand traps and the rest of this stuff? Yeah, yeah. So basically, to lose against Zoo, they have to open the right combination of unsearchable three offs in their deck. <laughs> they don't have a combo outside of Meg Dryden. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was formidable back in the day because they had a consistent way to get to Dryden. Well, they had a plus fucking all... seven. Like yeah. it's. <laughs> they just drew and drew and drew and drew. Mm. But now, they don't have that. They don't have a uh, fusion sub combo with Norden and everything. It's dead. They can't loop Digusto Emerald. No. They just play what is in their opening hand, pretty much. And it's so incredibly vulnerable as well. Like, sometimes if you hard neg the Thoroughblade discard, yeah. that's the end of their turn. Yeah. Like, if you just... It's always been the way with Zoo, which is why Dynamist had that matchup in back when Zoo was, like, the top deck. That's why Dynamist won 99% of the time, is because you just bounced the first thing they summoned. 
Like, legit. I, like, that was it. It was that easy. It was the same with Invokement, which if you just flip down the Thorough Blade with Raijin. Yeah, exactly. At anything that, like, just changes their amount of monsters on the field, they cannot play. And it's still the same. Just get rid of the first thing they do. Like, chances are... They don't That's run the Shuffle, the, Reborn, or anything. The it's Barrage? At one. At one. <laughs> yeah, but... And a lot of those decks are playing Desires as well. In so. Zoo, you just... You'd just like you'd bounce the first thing if you've got barrage, you've got like four other cards, right? Admittedly, they're also you know unsearchable three elves, but it's like you just back it. Yeah. If if they've got it and you don't have a response, then they they did it. Yeah, you know, but um, you'd usually win anyway. Dr- Dryden's not that powerful. No, not anymore. Back in the day, sure. Definitely could have gone to like two. Don't say that. <laughs> Well, it's it's while, powerful, while I'm backing said. it now, <laughs> this was literally my next point. I fear that because Zoo needs a lot of backup in the current format to be relevant, like it does need Eldritch and Dogmatica behind it to actually make a board, mm. I do fear that people would look at that and go, oh, Zoo isn't that good. It can have back Barrage. It can have back Dryden. It cannot have back Brawl Ball. No. Rat, rat, rat. Rat, rat, <laughs> rat, 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 rat. rat. Rat, rat was hat. the first thing to go, so in theory it should be the last thing to come back. Rat to two, rat to two. I prefer rat to two than broadbull to one. Yeah. <laughs> rat to two makes the whole thing live because they just make a freeling two. Yeah, and it makes rat actually be able to do something. No. But it still sends. And then yeah. sets up that combo. <laughs> also, <laughs> legit, you, the amount of times I hear cunts at locals or anywhere that are like, <laughs> or fucking deck <laughs> your deck is just an abuse, bait. and I'm like you're literally playing zoo like shut the fuck up <laughs> you literally go oh attack with broad ball uh sorry not broad ball borbo and then man phase 2 uh summon 10 zoo monsters on top of my thing <laughs> uh summon Zeus or anything yeah Nibiru <laughs> die go away you can't have it Shut go, the fuck up. Go away, wait. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand why for certain decks people are like, Nabu, and then for other decks people are like, Nabu. <laughs> <laughs> the basis for it seems to be, if Lachlan plays a deck, it's Nibiru bait. Yeah. If other people <laughs> play a deck, it's fine. It plays through Nibiru, even though it doesn't. <laughs> Minor Mist is Nibiru bait. Oh, fuck, bro. I was wrestling someone online the other day with Mono Mist because I'm in a battle with Duck, who's at 1,000 <laughs> rating on Duck DB. plays on DB. <laughs> yeah, with three Zs. Uh, and he was like, oh, Dynamis. I don't even think he said Dynamis was bad. I think he just said the word Dynamis, and I was like, that's it. If- How dare you speak their <laughs> name? <laughs> How dare you stand where he stood? Um, and he was like, <laughs> I was like, I can get to 800 rating on DB easy. Turns out, I can. It just takes so much time. Yeah. Like, d- pl- Especially like, with judge calls. Matt, I get a judge call every second game. The amount of people who, you contribute face downs, you can't do this, you can't do- Shut the fuck up. Have you got a ruling on a judge on that one? What? So on you- DB. On what? Tributing face down equips. I don't oh. need a ruling. <laughs> <laughs> but have you got one? No, no, not face down equips. He's talking about attributing face down face monsters down monsters in, in for cost. Yeah, yeah, the the very thing in the rule book. What's that from? For the, like for howling or fucking okay. I'd like even I think at the time it was Spinos. Yeah, wait. Oh, sorry, everyone okay. gets mad at me for saying Spinos. By the way, like Spinos. Spinos. Yeah, apparently it's Spinos. Well, Don't you dare say Spinos. <laughs> fucking dice. <laughs> it's Spinos. That's Ooh. how I say it. I am your god. Spinal yeah. sounds like fucking trailer trash. Like I, yeah, I prefer does, right? I prefer Spinos. Spinos, yeah, that's how I that's say. What it. I just said. No, no, I remember what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your thing looping in my head, and it's like giving me rage ticks. What's the um? What's <laughs> the, like, like deeper, um, yeah, I've been a. Uh, I'm also. Now the owner of the Dynamis Discord, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I, don't think, I, I don't think it's called owner, is it? No, it's literally like the dude transferred me admin. ownership. No. Nah. Nah. Like, I am 
The owner. The manager. Owner with a boner. <laughs> 40 year old manager with a dynasty. <laughs> yeah, look, once I hit 25, it's hard being transferred to someone else. <laughs> Um, so I have zero stake in this. Mm. However, have we got a points total for our ban list uh, predictions? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write them down. As uh, what, but you edited the podcast. I wasn't writing them down. Didn't you get all the messages sent to you? Yeah, didn't you? And didn't you not read one of them? <laughs> Who didn't I read? <laughs> oh, well, no, I didn't have messages sent to me. I had a list... Of notes that I took off people. You also said send it, and I sent it. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, I guess someone didn't submit their deck, <laughs> their, their band prediction. But I think, because I didn't do like, I only did two. I did Link Cross and Toad, which were, both got it. Oh, well, but then think, I'd say you won. No, but I think other people did like Seer, Toad, Buster. Yeah, but they also Link probably Cross. got stuff wrong. I got is so wrong half job. or one? Minus one. Minus one. Oh, I don't fucking know our rating system, bro. Okay. <laughs> it it tends one? to change every time we go around this. Um, Does it tend to change or is it always the same and it's always like the same and we never understand it? I thought it was minus a half for each guess and then minus one for wrong. On top of the half? Or does it go to half on the finish? I, don't know. Uh, I, I just remember that we had punishing like exactly wrong like in one of the ones we had punishing like a really bad calls like I, I don't know so whoever said Link Cross and Smoke Grenade and had the unlimits I say probably gets it it's probably Ben yeah, I think it's between Ben and you because while like he predicted Seer in that he yeah. also got a lot of others yeah, yeah like limits. like he had Electromite on there as well I just looked at oh. mine out of the egg cards that I predicted I got one correct <laughs> Mm. That's... Well, guess what? I made mine up on the spot, so I don't think I got any right. Yeah, I hate right hearing Josh writing it down, like, oh, and uh, Red MD. Bro, it's, it him at, it's him getting his packs after everyone else. It's the oh, exact same thing. It it's him being like, I was like, all right, Josh, what's your bailiff's prediction? He was like, oh, wait a second. We all said ours, and like, he said his or something, and then we said ours, and then you said something like, smart, and he was like, Oh, can I add that? <laughs> no! <laughs> you cannot. Joshua. Electromite should be It's now. fair, because he's never listened to one. <laughs> <laughs> Still has that. I don't know. The way that he gets into his like replay videos on Nolan TCG, and he like, comments back to every person that comments against him, I reckon he's probably listening. And he to calls them all retards. Like, every single one of them. Yeah, it's literally... It's basically... He's the epitome of that time you posted in Zootiac, and then every time that um, someone called it, you're just like, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except I said shut up. He's like, here is a really poorly written paragraph on why you're wrong. It's barely <laughs> legible because it's not English. But, you know, it's no tongue known to man. <laughs> He's speaking the language of the gods. <laughs> oh. Come on, Negator. <laughs> um, Electromite should come back. Yeah, Electromite for sure should have come back. It, uh, it makes me think that maybe they have zero interest in making Pendulum that good, even with the Metal Foe support. Yeah. Legit. Lynx came out with Firewall. Literally Firewall. The most broken card in the history of the game. And Pepe put up two negates, and they were like, that's it. Pendulums have to suck forever. <laughs> like, it, it, they put up t two negates and a Solemn Strike, and they were like, this, is, this isn't okay. This is too much. They made a CDI and a Trap Tricks Rafflesia and they were like, Die! Die, die, die! You need to die forever. In fairness, Until they did have... Until Pendulum FTK. <laughs> yeah, which, they, which is the only like problem that they've ever swiftly hit like that. Like, they were like, snap, we're on it. Let's go. Ban list. Right now. Pendulum FTK dies. It got t like two or three events. It was good for a month. Again, in fairness, <laughs> the cards were very cheap. They didn't have a high ceiling, and they'd already sold all the cards that they need to sell to justify it. Is that 
in fairness or in justification? Because it's definitely not in fairness. Yeah, fairness is it's... probably not the right word. Also, they literally had Pentalk, which was a hundred and fifty dollar car. Yeah, but, I think yeah, but the Pend FDK was long before, oh, long after that. Oh, you talk about Pend FDK? Yeah. Yeah. Like literally, the enabler cards were instant fusion, the two scales, and the the fusion, which was a rare. You can tell when you think of something Konami didn't, because it gets banned immediately. It's like, there's no way that they didn't see that coming. Pend FDK. You think they released it knowing that there was going to be Pend FDK after they'd already gotten rid of? Um, it was Danger Dark World n- after all? Not it? the Lyrilus card, but the the uh, the other one. Oh, uh, Tyrant Neptune. Uh, yeah, Tyrant Neptune. They got rid of that, and then they were like, but this card is fine. <laughs> they, I don't think they knew what was going on. This is a problem. They have these fantastic ideas about cards, but because there's yeah. literally over 10... <laughs> Let the sentence finish. <laughs> so these cards that are great in theory and are fairly balanced are fine on their own, but then when they're examined with a card pool of 10,000 and the greatest people that play the game examining them to exploit whatever loopholes they can because there's no R&D they don't find out these problems until it's too late they should just merge the OCG and TCG but keep them products ahead (laughs) (laughs) so we know exactly what's going to happen because the OCG has already done it (laughs) that doesn't solve the problem (laughs) that doesn't solve the problem all that does, yeah. All we, that does is no. Oh, we know this we'll is going to be shit in three months. <laughs> yeah, but if, they, if they're going to combine, the only reason would be is to reduce costs. What so to then, hmm? well, what you said was what it used to be. Was it? Yeah. Until like the bandless got separated. Yeah. Heaps. The solid bandless. And then they made TCG exclusives. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to shoot myself twice in the head. Uh, any, about you didn't TCG even know where to shoot yourself. Your hands I was all just excited. You. I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 there was still TCG exclusives before that, which made it kind of fucking funny. <laughs> uh, any, do they all get imported? Yeah. The exclusives? Um, Pedalian like Zoics were a Korean import, for, uh, were a Korean exclusive for like Yeah, a not year even OCG yeah, exclusives, just, just hmm. Korea. It was like a year and a half where Pedalian Zoics just ran wild in Korea and then they got Every like, and then we got them. Are there any like still TCG ones that aren't in OCG? Pretty sure they've got everything about at the moment. My Eden, oh, obviously, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, brag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Damn right. But <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather Astrogath than Electromite. Fuck off. You'd prefer. What's a metal you Force card? You'd prefer to. St- to not search every pendulum card in the game. Yeah. You'd prefer to just have Astrograph. Yeah. That's dumb. But, it but it's more fun. balanced. But it's <laughs> no, not, it's not fun. Fun. Yeah. If Astrograph come back, no, <laughs> I would trade an FTK. I'm positive of it. Just give me Astrograph. Oh, God, okay. I no, I don't want to do it. But I could. <laughs> <laughs> just know. Yeah, that he could do it. <laughs> I should come back. Remember, fellas, until I figured out the combo, Electromite was at one. But they saw Dynamist Day 2 combo. Yeah, they saw your live stream. They watched your live stream of the combo and they're like, nah, we can't bring Electromite back. <laughs> <laughs> they, were like, they were like, oh, damn. Naturia Exterior, <laughs> Envy of D. Ban, ban, ban. <laughs> It's so beyond likely, but imagine if they had, like, rather than R&D department where they probably should have people, they just had certain people, like, checking the socials and streams of, like, their different um, content creators as, like, their reverse (laughs) R&D of being like, oh, we fucked up, rather than, oh, we shouldn't make this card. I swear they just watched the ban list predictions and are like, alright, those are some good ideas. (laughs) And a random card that no one wanted. Let's roll a dice out of 10,000. Let's roll a D10,000. Well, that's, I mean, that's how they had to have done this ban list. Yeah, like, like, where else are they getting their ideas of what's good and what's not? (laughs) Exactly. They're testing. (laughs) It's really Can Army be testing? Do they even the run a remote invitation in the last three months? No. 
I think they did because there was a Dino one, I swear. Was it? In the last three months, it was definitely at least one, oh, okay. and Dino's topped it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a Dino mirror in the final. Sky Striker oh. probably need another hit. Yeah. <laughs> Doing heaps. <laughs> and then. I still think put all Sky Striker cards to one and let them have three engage. Yeah, that makes sense. Just a tool lock deck. Toolbox deck Toolbox where you get deck. one of everything. I'd say do that, but except um, nope, except the nope. what's it called? <laughs> Summons a token, so you can't use it in other decks. Does it irk anyone else that like you can Is have multiple rays and like? Mo- yeah, but I'm like, saying ban that because multiple rays and like multiple farm girl like cards that are obviously a character and would um, there would only be one of them in the universe. Huh? <laughs> Fucking no! Well, you what? mean play sets of cards that would only be. Yeah, one yeah, person. yeah. Yeah, when I see double that's plays, that's, that's a like very anime <laughs> kind of interpretation. How many Alistair's are there? <laughs> oh, there's like 50 <laughs> of them now. Alistair Crowley. Crowley's a different monster. No, it's not. It is. He knows that. Certi- <laughs> he knows that certification. He's young, Alistair, isn't he? I think so. I haven't looked up the law. I was doing that. Oh, great wisdom eye mm. that knows everything. Tell me, is a feck failure a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm proud>. uh, <laughs> I saw Simo's video and apparent like the, we do everything, like only spells, only traps, decks. Mm. And it was only female mm. cards. Where did he get that idea? <laughs> <laughs> And you only female cards, and apparently there's a list of only female cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! on, like, Wiki or something. Of course there <laughs> fucking is. Jesus Bro, it's like, it's like Dueling Book, where you go on, you yeah, make an yeah. account, and it asks for your fucking sexual orientation. Oh, does it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can put your sexual orientation on the Dueling Book. Um, yeah, my sexual orientation is female. Um, but apparently Effect Bell is a girl. Because it's got feminine nah. traits. Femboy twink, femboy twink. <laughs> can't wait, can you have a maybe like femboy the... twink? <laughs> yes, sure. <coughs> you might have yes. been the Ask the expert. <laughs> yeah, brag. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> femboy twink. I would he work? In... Look, would effect fellow work at Hooters <laughs> or Femboy stuff. Hooters? That's what we need to know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, is there any decks on the horizon that are like meta contention? Tritron. No, they're here. Like we're kind um, of aware of what they do. Like, do we know of anything that's coming up? Nah, virtual world's destroying everything everywhere. A rattling firewall. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to summon one more fire. Fucking cyber. Firewall pass. Firewall pass. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Uh, not linked to anything. <laughs> um, firewalls pass. What the hell's Virtual World doing in the OCG? Everything. Isn't VFD? Oh, oh, I thought VFD was... I, I think thought, they just recently got did banned. Did I just like... Did they get it back? No, banned, didn't it? Yeah, I, I think so. I thought it was banned. <laughs> did you just, see they they're using the Chao, Chao Feng or whatever? Did, did I just... Uh, oh, the Yang Zing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what to do oh. that. Me either. <laughs> Let's read it. Let's read it out. I uh, think it's like a VFD. Let's do the try to read challenge with Lachlan. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, like, imagine. While this synchro summoned... Oof, oof. How did I fuck up card? I stopped at card. <laughs> I, I fucked up oh. four words in. Synchro summoned... Oof. While this, this synchro summoned... <laughs> 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 Give me a fa- second, fellas. Card. Is on the field. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of yeah. monsters with the same original name... Attribute... With the same original attribute as the I have failed the try to read challenge. <laughs> With the same original attribute as the Yangzing monsters used for this synchro summon of this card. Okay, cool. So we're off to a great start. Yangzing specific. When this synchro summoned card is destroyed by battle, you can Oh that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You um you pop it and then a tutor monster from your deck to hand so it searches Lulu. Oh. That's right, yeah, 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 because you can um once per turn That sounds really bad. It also, when a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by battle of card effect, you can special summon a worm type monster from your deck. Oh, and they have worms. Okay. Yazi. So, okay. It's also $30. It's gone up 605%. Oh, Meme, I mean. What? Isn't that a worm? 
That is a yeah, worm. but it's not going to... Well, that matches the original attribute of one of the destroyed monsters on the field. Yeah, water. no, it's... <laughs> there are no waters in that fucking deck. Except for fucking Oops. Ravenous Croconaw. Yeah. Walk in. Did I just call it Ravenous Croconaw? Yeah. That's the fucking Pokemon. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Is that it for the ban list? I believe that's it for the ban list. Has any other Yu-Gi-Oh news happened? Yeah, they announced a weird product today. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this Ancient Guardians? Yeah. Yeah, some interesting sounding archetypes in there. What's that? That card looks perverted. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, that's different the... for, for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> no, like this, Seb. So that's meant to be a new pendulum archetype. Oh, fucking epic. Well, don't even look at it. Doesn't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently, the seen, seen a dinosaur. <laughs> for, so from what they've alluded to with that uh, one, they modulate their scales, hmm. and then Dino there's Dino meant Dino to be there's dinosaur? meant to be another one that interacts with the graveyard, and they're thinking it will synergize with um, Snake Rain. Oh yeah, that got hyped. People keep in saying past. this. It's never going to happen. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to stay up at like five dollars. It's why it reptiles will never be good. It's because Snake Rain. Or was it just add two snakes reptiles or something? Send four to the graveyard. Oh. <laughs> it's going to have collectors rares again as well. So that's their new um. That's their new format going forward. Discard one card. Goodbye, hidden arsenal sets. We have the new year. Actually, now we new year for ten fucking years. But too long. <laughs> too long. Yeah, I mean. I nearly prefer. They've got up the quality of the printing on those sets. Yeah, in theory, post COVID though, that does change though. Because the you know, um, I did did Genesis Impact have quality control problems as well? No. From what I've heard, but the product oh. that we have seems okay. Hmm. So maybe again, maybe it's just the separation between US yeah, and EU. Yeah. And yeah, they're going to have like lots of Pendulum and Ignis to support as well. Unless that's just, they're just throwing them in there for generic Pendulum support. That'd be generic Pendulum support. If only there's other cards that would consider generic Pendulum support. Mm, I wonder what they could be. Like Axe Trograph. <laughs> axe Trograph? <laughs> yeah, the axis of graphs. Do you think they'll ever let us... So, am I, are you under the impression that the left... And right, like mm. numbers on the pendulum scales. <laughs> yeah. Uh like meant to be different. Yeah. 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 So will we see a card no, different? That was the original idea where they were like, "Oh, pendulums are really cool," and then like a bunch of people who would have the brain capacity of a fucking cucumber were like, "I hate pendulums," <laughs> and then we didn't ever get it. I would like the idea if if you activate. Like, they have two different numbers, and then if you activate them on different sides, they get different effects as well, different scales. Yeah. It should have been two different numbers, and you can activate if the left number wins and the left one, the right number. Yeah, because, I mean, because the playmat yeah. has... The left of the red. Yeah, they... The right yeah. The... yeah. It makes no sense that they're the same fucking number. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also, people who put the lower number on the right... They should be dead. <laughs> they should be thrown off... A bridge. What if there's an interim set in that column, though? Too bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, your opponent puts an imperm in there. Okay, they should be. You're playing Pendulum. <laughs> this wouldn't have been a problem if they left the Pendulum scales where they were. Yep. Mm. Where they should be. <laughs> no imperm in the Pendulum column. <laughs> Five back row for so, Cleefords. So dumb. Well... True. They just shouldn't be in the monster. Like probably should just never make. I mean, I, I really it's like, more I, simple, I really so like it's better for beginners, I reckon. Beginners who don't understand Pendulum, brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> Face up extra deck is a bit funky though. Maybe that's where they fucked up. They should have just gone to grave. The fact <laughs> that you can't send it to grave for cost. But it gets banished under Macrocosmos is the most retarded shit. Because it's like, no, 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 it goes to Grave, so it hits Macrocosmos. And then they're like, oh, but you can't send it to Grave for cost because it doesn't go to Grave. That is the most retarded shit. It goes to Grave. Like, it goes to Grave for a half a second where it then gets hit by Macrocosmos. 
It's like it only goes to grave for the negatives. Like yeah, yeah. I think negatives are more powerful in Yu-Gi-Oh, aren't they? Negating the rather than you can do this. Like, what? Is it like if someone has? I I think I I think I understand Lancia where you're coming versus... from. There was like a brief moment of uh, profundity, and then they looked <laughs> at you. Yeah, what that profundity? That. that is a word. Was... Fuck no way. I don't know. Profundity. We're learning here. We're learning. Fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) I've never heard of it. What does it mean? Profundity. What about great depth of insight or knowledge? What about? I wouldn't go that far, lad. That's why I said a brief moment, and then they looked at you like you'd honestly grown another head. Yeah. Just like I haven't got enough. Space for my massive brain. I have to grow a second head. <laughs> Too much profundity. <laughs> Do you reckon can join twins get like dizzy? <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. At the same, the same way we do. <laughs> what? No, but like more so, because they're constantly like this. No, they'd be used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely when I said conjoined twins, I definitely meant people with two heads. And I remembered swiftly after I'd said it that those people don't exist. There's people with two heads. Yeah. And that is the commentator in episode one of Star Wars. Now there are two of them. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, says the fucking birthing doctor. I'll tell you what I mean. It's coming through. Wait! <laughs> it's twins. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss those giant lolly snakes with two heads. What? Kill a python? Kill a python? Yeah. Well, kill, well, I mean, kill pythons exist, but they only have they one. only have one head. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's stupid. I miss curly wellies. It's not like what I can't eat them anymore. It's just I don't want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you get a curly whirly, you go home, you put it in the fridge. You treat uh, you welcome to the you, treat podcast. You don't, you don't want to eat a curly whirly when it's like. Melting. Melting and sh- like not sh- You want it a bit chewy because that's the caramel. But you don't want it too chewy. You want it like. You want it so it. you can. Where you put your teeth is where the chocolate breaks. It doesn't pull. Mm. Mm. That's what I want. I always prefer chumps. Chumps are good. Chumps are also good. I. Uh, do you guys ever have like an aero bar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, they're terrible. What? No. I hated aero bars. Why? Oh, I like the mint ones. Yeah. No, the mint ones are the only ones I've tried and I hated them. <laughs> Do you like mint chocolate chip? I like mint. Oh, <laughs> God. <that's... laughs> but I also didn't like the consistency of them. Yeah. I kind of love the consistency, but I never found a flavour that I liked. Mm. I love Twinkies. Yeah. I looked up on eBay <laughs> and it's $20 for 10 well, yeah, that's actually, I swear I had, a, I had a Twinkie once. That's the foreship. You gave me a Twinkie. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, was I, like, do, I do come across Twinkies. And I was like... <laughs> You're an expert in the field after this all. Is, this, is, is, <laughs> anywhere this is aggressively <laughs> mediocre for my tastes. I was like, this is absolutely fine. Creamy, that's just how I felt about it. Cakey. The chocolate ones are nice. <laughs> the chocolate ones were better than the normal ones. I've, I'm convinced that American desserts are all fairly garbage. Yeah. I'm convinced American food is bad. Mm. Well, cause, I mean, I'm a sucker for Hershey's chocolate and sucker Pop for... Pop-tarts. I like milk oh, You and your fucking Pop-tart. Pop-tarts I've never good. liked Don't. any American chocolate. And especially not no. now that I've found out... Uh, actually, I like Reese's Bar. ...that they use UHT oh, wait, milk. Oh, fucking... Never mind. That's... Because their chocolate factories are so far away from their dairy farms hmm. they have to use UHT milk and when they use UHT milk in the production of chocolate it produces the same chemical that's in parmesan cheese that makes it bitter oh okay I oh, watched so many is that Americans is your chocolate you bitter absolutely <laughs> let us know actually doesn't make because our, our chocolate well, is I'm, pr- I'm Reese's Puff pretty sure yeah. our chocolate's got stuff in it compared to English to make it not melt as much that makes sense yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, it would. Because chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Do you guys like strawberry milk? 
Oh, Sometimes. I drank a bottle of it on Sunday. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and I went, God, that's fucking and gross. And I, I, woke up at, I woke up at like 3am with, what's it called? Flint. Reflux. Death. Reflux. Like, <laughs> and I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I was you like, okay, almost I'm not, a full yeah, bottle no, of fucking I was like, I'm not going to go back to sleep. And I fell asleep. <laughs> like, Because you were afraid yeah, you were going to die. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to, like, choke on my vomit and die. You woke up with a fucking strawberry milk-induced <laughs> anxiety attack. <laughs> and then skip out of throat. Yeah. And then you're like... Uh, fuck it. I got work tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't sleep. Can't yeah. wait, mate. <laughs> my name's Tyrone. I'll have a basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that part in. Yeah. It's all a bit stained. Like Leave this part in. Can we stretch it out till I get my shiny cell of you? Can we stretch it out to one hour? Do you reckon I should still make the Vegemite making tutorial? Or, oh my god, you missed it. I missed the excellence on that too. I, I've had a shock overnight, I'm not going to lie. You're in the slums. I was probably better off. <laughs> what do you mean the night? Rain. It's six blocks. Three. Three, yeah. Yes, my rocket balloon totally shows up as three. <sighs> it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> So take off all your clothes. Shut up, Jesse and James. Give me the fucking celery. <laughs> Give me the loot. <laughs> what? I've done one more encounters. <sighs> oh my god. That's a high grass CP thing. Oddish. From here, I thought it was a hip on top. <laughs> How? The green legs. I'm looking oh at it upside down. God. Shit, brag. What? No, I'm throwing it where it's meant to be. This is wrong. <laughs> oh, is the game wrong. is wrong. The I'm doing the right thing. Um, the the game is magic harp is so ma like they've fucked up the positioning magic harp and so it's just way low. But on some people's phones, it's back in the uh, its original position. <laughs> and if you if your buddy throws the ball for you when you miss, it throws it to the old position. So it just goes. You. <laughs> <laughs> Does your buddy throw your balls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it went, <laughs> if they fight it back, it bounces back and the buddy hits Mr. it. Mr. Mom and Ash. Oh, okay. Ash's mom and I thought they just threw an extra ball. I just need a bit of land. Excellent throws, man. That's all I need. Ash's mom kind of thick. Is she? No, not really. No, my definition of thick mums has been changed since Pixar started making movies. <laughs> Bruh, I even like thick chicks. They Mrs. They, Incredible. They ain't my time. For, Mrs. Incredible, <laughs> by God, she dummy thick, bruh. <laughs> Imagine Dude. the sloppy toppy. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, so, so here's the question. So, so here's a question I have with um, Elastigirl, Girl, Mrs. Fantastic. She's a stretchy woman. Do you reckon that she's naturally that proportion, or that she just stretches herself to make it? Yeah, dick? she can choose to be fucking. She can choose slim to be petite. Thick. <laughs> slim, thick. With do you like? It doesn't make any sense. Like. By, by the way, Elastigirl is so thick that it just broke my mind and I <laughs> stopped being <laughs> able to <laughs> Bro, in the movie theatre, bro, I was like, fucking damn. Correction <laughs> <Erection> time. <laughs> <laughs> I went with a chick too. I, I went with a chick and I was like... This guy got an erection. <laughs> no, not the fucking movie theater. And eating beans. Dick into popcorn be like... <laughs> Hey, we're running kind of low. <laughs> Do you want the lines to the popcorn? <laughs> Jesus she grabs Christ. It and pulls it out. Because she thinks it's popcorn. Right. But what kind of popcorn are you eating that you could possibly mistake a handful of popcorn for a handful of cock? I don't know. What? How did it kick out twice? This is fucking bullshit. Stay in a little fucking onion. It's not fair! Just run, bro. Just run. Ben Oddish! <laughs> Just do this too, bro. <laughs> Just open the beer. Okay. I just fucking suck, apparently. There we go. Should stand. We ran out of Yu-Gi-Oh things to talk about, evidently. You think? Here we go. We're on fucking Elastigirl. Here we go. Like fucking talk to is Elastigirl... Comments. Is oh, Mrs. Is incredible... So what's the most attractive cartoon character? <laughs> Define cartoon. Oh, so close! Okay, so close. Not, <laughs> not anime. Not anime. Wait, cartoon um, specifically. Western Lucas cartoon. said that 
Clone Wars is more an anime than it is a cartoon. George Lucas can shut the fuck up. What does George Lucas know? 98% Celebi. Damn, nice. Oh, shiny. You know that, like, um, what's the plant Pokemon with the big mouth? Oh, oh Victory Bell? Weeping Bell? The Weeping the bells. Bell? Yeah. All the bells. <laughs> so perfectly sized <laughs> stretch into that <laughs> into a big <laughs> weeping bell. No, <laughs> no. I think that's where we cut it. I don't know how I much think of we the need next to stop. <laughs> I, look, I don't know how much of the next part of what I'm about to say is going to make it into the podcast. But do you think Elastic Girl? Could like as a parachute stretch out her vagina lips <laughs> <laughs> and oh. use those as like a parachute or like one of those squirrel suits. She did the same with her body. <laughs> well, yeah, but like how long? How? Yeah, but remember she like stretched to her maximum limit when she was yeah. stuck in the doors and then she flung back. Yeah. So you gotta d- compute her pinky finger to her arm length to <laughs> average flap size <laughs> and then you got your answer thanks so much for listening everybody <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy on tiktok that like measures people's heights yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. So it's like so cool i love that so he gets them wildly wrong though oh, like yeah. a lot of the time because it's not like visual isn't an exact science like it's yeah. like recordings don't show exact because it's angle and stuff mm. angle and that yeah. There we go. Backed me up. Confirmed. I'm entirely correct. Depending on the lens, I guess. <laughs> Fish eye. Bragg Zuckerberg, expert on film and twinks. <laughs> and twinkies. Bruh. And, um... And... Prank no, that's it. <laughs> and um... I don't want to power that one up. I will... This will be my last podcast for two weeks, and then I'll be back. Actually, it might be a week and a half. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, I think it's a week. You'll just miss me next week. Just do it on Discord. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. So yeah, next week we'll probably do a year in a review, I guess. And then the highlights of the other week, or? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, because next week isn't Christmas yet, is it? Are you all up for next Tuesday? Even? Um... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's Christmas yet. Yeah, I'll, nah, just, take the, I'll just take Wednesday Friday. off. Fair enough. Ah, I do. Well, why are you twisting my arm? I'll take the week off. <laughs> <laughs> You've convinced me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, your your video is going up as soon as I get a Mac to copy and paste it on because the USB stick doesn't work. If you're from a country that has less than a million people, huh? let us know. Oh, is it the wrong format? That'd be really interesting. Yeah. So what you need? What do you need? Oh, I was going to put in the Mac at work and then copy and paste on. It. Okay, yeah. What did you say over there? I said if you're from a country that has less than a million people, let us know because that's pretty cool. Yeah. Also, ask us any questions. We need questions for the for for the comments pod to come back. Yeah. We've been wildly inconsistent as of late, but we plan on fixing that. It's that time of the year, it happens. Yeah, so it's, it's pre- just a very busy time of the year. Like, you know, uh, some of us have work commitments, some of us have study commitments, some of us, you know, like, just have life stuff going on. Some of us are playing Pokemon Go. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> We don't talk about that. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, free. like Bragg said, some of us are massive fucking virgins. <laughs> <laughs> if sex doesn't get me to level 50, I'm not interested! <laughs> Sex doesn't get me fucking Pokemon XP, so I don't give a fuck. Go um, weeping bell. <laughs> <laughs> Use flashlight. Oh no. <laughs> Is weeping bell like which one's the one without teeth? <laughs> oh, we definitely did that's this. The most, we're, we're we're done done this. this is that's the most fuckable Pokemon. <laughs> mm. Outside of like Ditto. Turns into a human. <laughs> He's got it. You can turn into that hot chick from Have you seen Detective that? Pikachu. Have you seen that? Ah, uh, yeah. The blonde one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't rate it that much. Slim, but you're cute ass. <laughs> hey, hey if you're listening, hit us <laughs> up in the DMs. 
<laughs> Go to our Team C for G at Twitter account. <laughs> Send us some ditto pics. <coughs> oh, please fucking oh, don't. Pics. <laughs> Dip pics. Dip pics. That's definitely not code. Ditto pics. <laughs> Oh god, the Discord's gonna be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join our Discord. Hit us up at teamc4g at gmail.com. You can send us your emails, your inquiries, your dinner picks. Maybe yeah, not picks, the last yeah, ones. Um, yeah, hit us up there. We, we answer all our messages pretty much. And uh, look out for more regular content coming out. We'll try to hit three videos in it. <coughs> <laughs> we'll try to get a podcast up every week. <laughs> yeah, we can do that over Christmas. Poggers. One. I want to, when I come back, I'll start screaming. Alrighty. Jeremy, Bye. Uh, thanks for coming on. <laughs> and, Pleasure. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Gesundheit. No